Before making any adjustments to the seat matters chairs, lock the two brake casters at the back of the chair for safety. This is a standard lap belt. This is an adjustable two-point positioning belt. To fit any of the belts on the seat matters chairs, we need to first feed the clips through the front. Then we need to clip the metal clips into the attachment points. That is now the belt fitted. The attachment points on a Milano are here and here. The attachment points on a Monaco and an Atlanta are here and here. Fitting the lap belt and the two-point adjustable positioning belt is the same. This is an adjustable four-point positioning belt. To fit a four-point positioning belt, we need to first pass the metal clips down through the front of the chair. We'll keep these two clips here for now. And we attach these metal clips into the attachment points. To fit these fixing points, we need to remove the arms. We will do it one arm at a time. To remove the arm, we need to firstly loosen the wing nut at the back of the arm and loosen the wing nut at the front of the arm. That allows us to slide the arm off. Once we have the arm removed, we can choose which attachment point we want to clip the belt to. Each one will give us a slightly different angle. We can then use the buckles on the belts to tighten or loosen each attachment. We can then repeat that on both sides. Then we just slide the arm back into place and re-tighten the wing knobs. The attachment points at the back of the Milano are here and here, and the ones at the front are here and here. The attachment on the Monaco for the back straps are here and here, and for the forward straps, they are here and here. This is an abduction belt. When fitting the abduction positioning belt, we need to make sure that the long straps are located towards the front of the chair and the shorter straps are at the back of the chair. We also need to make sure that this side with the label is actually on the seat. We then feed the shorter straps down towards the back of the chair. And then feed the longer straps down as well. We then attach the two clips on each side and to the same attachment point. The attachment points on a Milano are here and here. The attachment points on a Monaco and an Atlanta are here and here. Once the patient is in the chair, you can then reconnect the clips and pull on the strap to get the required tension. And do that on each side. This is a pelvic position belt. To fit the pelvic positioner on a Sorrento 2 and Phoenix 2, we need to feed the straps on the outside down through the back of the chair and the strap in the middle feed that down as well. Then we just clip all the clips in to the attachment points. So this one here, the one in the middle into there and this one into there. 